So carrying on from last week with the patch pocket that we made with the slip pocket and the patch pocket. Um, last week we just turned it out and ironed it um, flat, um, left the gap open, um, but pressed it as if it was shut because then just top stitched it round the three edges onto one of the main pieces of the lining part of your bag. So I measured six centimetres down from the top and found the centre, but you can place it where where you'd like to just uh, bear in mind with the darts when they're sewn in that um part of the bag at the bottom there becomes the base and will sort of sit underneath your bag so you don't want it too far down here is just um quite a handy way to sew on the pockets how you'll often see them on shirts so that they don't sort of pull away and tear but by sewing this triangle at the top it just helps reinforce the top of a, a patch pocket quite nicely so we've sewn the patch pocket on now for the one of the lining pieces of the trail tote. What you can do is um, do a slash pocket. They, they have one on the outer of the bag, but you may also want to pop one on the inside of your bag as well on the other side of the patch pocket. And what I'd actually do is just use the same measurements of this pocket here. So for the large one, I did 30 by 50 long. So I'd just cut another one of those and follow this step here for the um, for the lining pocket as well. I'm just going to attach my outer slash pocket now. So what I've got is my outer main piece of my bag. And I've got that right side up with what's going to be my slash pocket right side down facing. So when I lay this down, I'm seeing the wrong side of my pocket piece. And I haven't actually done a, a slash pocket pocket zip pocket like this before where you match the the top edge of the pocket along the top edge of your bag I think to make things easier I normally drop it a little bit further down but we're going to follow it the way that it goes on the pattern it talks about um you find the center by creasing your pocket in half and the same with your outer so that you can get it lined your pocket lined up in the center um it talks about, so either just depending on how your printout is, I think it talks about a three and a quarter inch mark down. But if you have the pattern piece, um, you can just you can just use that. So I'm going to mark here's where the, the rectangle is going to go. And it comes out to this point here. So I just I can measure that with my ruler. So it's for the eight inch zipper, like we said. So. I think it's potentially 10 centimetres that way and 10 centimetres out to the side. So I can just draw that um, onto, onto the back of my pocket. So it's actually eight centimetres down from there. So if I just draw another line here, eight from the top, it will help me keep it all in line on my pocket. And then I'm going to do 10 centimetres To that side and then ten centimeters out to this side here. And then obviously the other line below so that you can get a nice rectangle. You could always um, cut that out, that rectangle out of your pattern piece, lay it on and draw around it like that if you wanted to. So I'll join those up. So this is now the rectangle that I'm going to sew around for my slash zip pocket. So that's marked. So I'm going to be sewing through my pocket and my outer main fabric piece. So if you just put some pins around that, I'm gonna sew all the way around there and then we're gonna cut through it that I will come back to in a moment.
Oh, I'm on the sewing machine now. It's part of reverse. I always start um, on a straight line for your sewing. You don't want to sort of start on a corner. The end of that line, pivot. Back to the beginning of the stitch. So so all the way around that rectangle, take my pins out. Of course, I've reverse stitched at the beginning and the end. I can just snip my threads on the front and the back and now what I'm going to do is draw a line down the center here so it's a centimeter um, triangle so if you just mark half centimeter down the middle and then if you stop half centimeter before the end there we'll draw these little a little triangle on the end there so I will Join that up there. And what I'm going to do is cut through this line here through both thicknesses and stop, as you can see, at this half centimetre point and then just cut out towards your stitching a millimetre or two away from your stitch line so you, you don't go all the way through. So you might want to do that bit with a smaller pair of scissors. I find just sort of folding it in half to start with and putting a snip through and you can open it out and snip along. Snip out into the corner, both sides, and then this is the fun bit where we'll post a pocket all the way through to the back. Like this. A good idea is to give that an iron as well. Come back in there. So if you give that a press, so it lies nice and flat to the back there. Our next step will be to add your eight inch zip or smaller if you've done the smaller size to the back there. And get that pinned and attached. So keep your zip ahead at the end there of where the opening is and I'll get that all pinned along and show you the next bit in a moment. 